There is no architecture without art, and that's what this multi-talented artist believes. He reveals it in his latest solo exhibition of bronze sculptures at the Art Pantheon Gallery in Lagos. It's Olayemi Fagunwe's solo show at the Art Pantheon Gallery in Lagos. A look at this statement gives a comprehensive guide to the artist's ideals and views about life, which inspired these bronze creations displayed to the audience. The title of this exhibition is Black. And why was Black chosen? It was, I mean, I was just trying to portray our blackness in a kind of positive light because so many, so, so, so most of the times I just realize that we, we don't really take that as a thing of pride because most of the times we prefer foreign things over our locally produced things. We prefer foreign hospitals than our own local hospitals. We prefer foreign education over our own local education. And even in the arts, we tend to value the foreign artworks in regardless to our own artwork. So how best could we tell our story? How best could we look at this blackness as a thing that is a blessing rather than a curse? How would we look at this that every other person we, en we envy us? Instead of us trying to always want to go to the white man's world, why won't they also want to also come here? Because we have a lot to offer. And then looking at Nigeria as it is like this, a country that is so blessed with everything, but this on one thing or the other that I, I really want to start making mention of, I mean, we have not really harnessed these potentials. Those who have encouraged this artist's growth notice his influences from growing up in the north to his architectural exposure, which plays a huge role in his art. Fabo Mbe is an amazing artist. He's an architect and he chose to go into sculpting after he got his master's in architecture from the University of Lagos. I decided to go with this show because I saw a lot of tenacity as of strength. I saw a great movement in Yemi's works. His, his sculptures are just not ordinary. There's so much movement that you can see in each of the works that you just can't take your eyes off them. Every time I look at each piece, I just imagine there was a particular work I love so much called Barali Loyal. And I looked at the way the work bent over and I just imagined myself bending over my, my goals, my limitations, and being able to achieve so much. So I see a lot of strength. Yemi's uh, work exudes some uh, uniqueness, some peculiarity, probably because of his background as an architect. You know, I know that uh, he trained as an architect before coming over to the Universal Studios for uh, an internship program, uh, where his uh, talent uh, in visual art was uh, identified. In waiting with him uh, before now, I had known that. Uh, his interest got honed in uh, his alma mater where he was studying architecture originally. Uh, that's Amadou Bello University, because uh, I think there's a kind of uh, connection between the archi uh, archi uh, architecture department and the finance department. So he had been influenced uh, uh, through his visits to his friends in the art department, and uh, he always had it, had it at the back of his mind to practice a bit of art after leaving school. For the Art Pantheon Gallery, the reason for making him the choice artist to be celebrated is the movement in most of his pieces, which makes his bronze sculptures unique with attention to details. Under 
underestimate ourselves, we underrate ourselves, we don't even believe in ourselves anymore. Anything it's believed, anything that is from the black nation is inferior. And on the contrary, it is not. Someone came in and asked me, where did they cast those bronzes? And I said, right here in Nigeria, in Benin. And I was like, oh no, I can't believe these were casted in Nigeria. And that's, that says to us that we need to start looking in words. And that's why I would look, I will keep looking for artists like Yemi, who believes so much in the African race and sees so much about us as a people. When you look at his work, you could say what the artist is made up of. He's um, a very deep um, artist. You know, couple combining the architecture and visual elements together. When you look at some of the forms, you see how he has been able to distort the normal form into his own way of expression. And the finishing of the works you know, say a lot and it's the finishing, it's, it's awesome, it's fantastic, creative, dynamic, it's unusual, it's something that um, is not common. So, and that is what is to tell about what that artist stands for, what is his um, way of, you know, expression. Young artists are growing fast and showing that they can hold their own when it comes to artistic creations, and this exhibition proves this.